continues in flood ravaged eastern Kentucky. Grateful that my family made it out and the Lord took real good care of us. It's just things, you know. I have a beautiful wife and four baby girls and uh, the 11 day old right now. She said, we're safe. Nearly a foot of rain has fallen in the region since Thursday, prompting deadly flash floods that left entire neighborhoods underwater. Within 10 to 12 minutes, I hear the noise and I raise the window and I seen the water and I knew I had to get out of there. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir says the number of victims is likely to rise in the days to come. He said first responders are struggling to access some of the hardest hit areas. Especially in Eastern Kentucky, roads and bridges are a lifeline and we have dozens of bridges that are out that make it hard to get to people make it hard to supply people. Parts of the western U.S. are facing a very different kind of natural disaster. Massive wildfires are now exploding in several states, including Nebraska, Idaho, and Montana. You could see the flames coming like over the hill, and it was like, it's time to go. The biggest one is the McKinney Fire in Northern California. The flames were first spotted Friday. Within 48 hours, it had spread to more than 80 square miles and is still burning out of control.